Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? It was too tired. Today, I'm going to recap a 2005 action martial art film called The Protector. A quick warning, there will be major spoilers ahead. Kam is the last of a family line of guards who once watched or the King of Thailand's war elephants. Traditionally, only the most perfect elephants could successfully defend the throne, and very great care was taken in raising them. Kam grows up forming close relations to his elephant Pori Yai and his calf Cohen. During Songkran Festival, the elephants were stolen with help from Mr. Suthep, a local MP, and his son were collaborating with elephant poachers. Kam raids Mr. Suthep's house and beats up the poachers. He intimidates Suthep into telling him that the elephants are in the hands of Johnny, a Vietnamese gangster who runs a Thai restaurant named Tom Yum Gong in Sydney, Australia. Kam arrives in Sydney and is immediately taken hostage by a wanted thief posing as a taxi driver. Sydney police officers Mark, a Thai Australian, and his partner Rick corner the thief while he holds Kam at gunpoint. However, a second policeman, Inspector Vincent, has been following Kam since he left the airport. First, he shoots the thief. After the thief drops dead, he tries to shoot at Kam. Mark, who is puzzled at Vincent's actions, questions why did that. Vincent argues that Kam was not a hostage and orders Mark and Rick to retrieve him, which they eventually do. In the car, Kam tells Mark that he is searching for relatives, but he does not directly tell him that they are elephants. Along the way, they spot Johnny at the Tom Yum Gong restaurant. Kam becomes erratic and urges Mark and Rick to arrest him, but Mark argues that he cannot because Kam is offering no proof of a crime. Kam causes the car to crash and he evades the police. He follows Johnny to a bridge, but Johnny escapes, forcing Kam to fight his henchmen. Kam coerces one of the henchmen to lead him to Johnny's hideout, interrupting a drug deal. Outraged, Johnny summons countless extreme sports enthusiasts who arrive to fight Kam. After defeating the thugs, Kam is exhausted and falls asleep in an alley. A prostitute named Pla, who met Kam earlier when he confronted Johnny, brings him to her apartment. In his sleep, he dreams of an epic battle involving war elephants and the Jacharankabard, the elephant protectors. When Pla leaves, Kam wakes up to the sound of police sirens and must escape. Mark and Rick are taken off the case and reassigned to provide security for the police commissioner's meeting with Mr. Sim. In that meeting, Pla acts as a hostess girl and dancer to the two men. During the meeting, Mr. Sim and the commissioner are murdered by someone hired by Vincent. However, the murder is caught on the commissioner's camera. Vincent kills Rick and puts the blame on Mark. Mark escapes, but is later captured. With Pla's help, Kam enters Tom Yum Gong. He finds his way into the VIP area and reaches the dining hall at the top. Kam demands, where are my elephants? And is met with the laughter of Johnny and his men. Johnny taunts Kam with Cohen's bell. This enrages Kam and he fights and defeats his opponents. He enters the storage area, containing various exotic animals ready to be butchered and eaten. Kam finds and frees Mark and Cohen, escaping minutes before the police arrive. Meanwhile, Madame Rose is made the new leader of the Chinese gang, after she murders two other possible successors. Inspector Vincent initiates a search for Kam and Mark, who are hiding in a Buddhist monastery. Soon after their departure, the monastery is set on fire by Vincent and his men. Believing that the temple and its inhabitants might be in danger, Mark and Kam decide to turn around and come back. When they arrive, Kam is confronted by three assassins, a fierce capoeirista, a sword-wielding wushu expert, and TK, a giant wrestler. Kam defeats the capoeirista and wushu expert. But TK proves too strong for Kam. TK gains the upper hand on Kam, but the police arrive and Mark comes to help him flee. By morning, Kam goes on his way. Mark is discovered by several policemen and sent to deal with Inspector Vincent, whom Pla has been revealed to be the murderer. Kam arrives at a conference hall where Madame Rose is having a press conference. Cohen runs in, scaring off people while Kam engages the gangsters. Mark apprehends Vincent, but Johnny arrives and fatally shoots Vincent to settle the score. 
Com finds himself with Cohen in a huge room, and he is shown the skeleton of poor Yai, encrusted with jewels as a gift to Madame Rose. Her men then attack Com, and he attacks them more brutally than previously seen, by breaking many of the men's arms and legs. TK from the monastery is called in, along with three others. Cohen is thrown through a glass wall, and Kam is knocked into the elephant ornament, causing two leg bones to fall off. Kam realizes that the tendons are the most vulnerable and important part of an elephant to protect, and with this knowledge, he defeats the four brute wrestlers by using sharp ends of the elephant bones to slice their tendons. He stops Madame Rose before she can escape in helicopter, and they both crash into the room below. Tom's fall is broken by poor Yai's tusks. Back in the lobby, Mark is then interviewed by a reporter about Calm. Finally, a narration from Mark is heard, with scenes of Calm's childhood shown. Mark explains that Thai people treat elephants like they are their brothers, and they hate people who hurt them. Thais love peace, but dislike people who take liberties. Calm is finally reunited with Cohen. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. You should watch the full movie. Thank you very much for watching.